Hello everyone, welcome to AI Sciences. Today we are going to discuss about how we can implement NLTK module for the case of hate speech recognition. So let's start by importing a few libraries. The libraries that we are going to need are pandas, numpy and sklearn. So let's start importing them one by one. The first one is pandas. So let's write import pandas as pd. The second one is numpy. So let's write import numpy as np now what is the third library the third library is sklearn so the things that we need from sklearn are count vector train test split as well as decision tree classifier so let's bring them out so from sklearn dot features extraction so feature underscore extraction extraction we are going to need dot text of course because we are working with nlp right we are going to import count vectorizer so c a u n t count vectorizer right after that what we are going to do is we are going to import train test split so if you are familiarized with sklearn before you know that it is available in sklearn dot model underscore selection right so let's import train test split from this so train underscore test underscore split okay and at the end of the day what we are going to do is we are going to import decision tree classifier so because that's the classifier that we are going to use so for that let's write from sklearn dot tree import decision tree classifier now let's see if we have all of these things available in our system right so if we get uh, it is saying that numpo is not a module it's actually numpy so let's run it again and let's see if we have sklearn and all of these available so there we go these are already installed in my system if these are not installed in your system what you need to do is you need to install them by writing pip install pandas numpy and sklr right so you need to do that okay so now that we have done that the next thing is we are going to import nltk module right after importing nltk module i am going to import re and uh, after that what i am going to do is i am going to import the stop words from nltk corpus so those are available in nltk corpus so nltk dot corpus import stop words right after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a few stop words if for me right so for that i'm going to write stop word is equal to a set of stop words that we have imported right dot words and here i'm going to write english so all the Powers that are available in English in this specific module will be downloaded and equalized to this stop word, right? After that, we are going to introduce a stammer, right? And uh, the stammer that we are going to use are NLTK snowball stammer. So let's do that. And it is a stammer for English. So we will have to specify that we are going to use English for that, right? So NLTK dot snowball and after that we are going to write stammer and in this we are going to write english right so let's do that let's run this and let's see if it works or not so it is working perfectly now what is the next step the next step is to get the data and print out the data now let's start with inputting the data set into our system right so for that what i'm going to do is i already have the data so i'll write data is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and in that i'm going to write data dot csv right and after this what is the next step the next step is to print out the data head so let's print out data dot head right so let's see what it looks like so this is the data right 
and what is the next step the next step is to provide the labels of this data right so for that let's write data labels is equal to data and then i'm going to write class right and after that i'm going to perform the mapping so for that let's write dot map and in this i'm going to write in flower brackets zero then for zero i'll say that hate speech is for zero right so zero and then hate speech and after that i'm going to write one as offensive speech right so one as offensive speech offensive speech and then two as no hit or offensive speech two as no hit and offensive speech right so let's write that offensive speech so let's write that and after that i'm going to write uh, what is the data uh, that we are going to pick actually let's do this first and after that let's uh, make the data shorter by writing data is equal to data and the things we are going to need are tweet and other than that labels so let's write labels here as well and after that let's run this and after that let's print out data dot head so now this is the data that we have these are the tweets and these are the labels and in the labels now we have these right instead of uh, you know these right so uh, this is the data that we have now as you can see this is a better looking data than uh, the one we had before right so what is the next step the next step is to make a function that will clean all of the data that is available in this right so let me copy paste that function right so it is a, a very uh, simple function let me just repeat it in this function we are deleting every you know uh, uh, online format that there is like https and all of these things these question marks right these ads and all of these things right so uh, these questions are marks are covered here then percentages and all of these things right so our main fun fun function here is to substitute all of them by a uh, you know a space uh, empty space that will uh, you know delete them right so this is it this is the work that we are de doing in this right so we are just deleting everything one by one right so after doing that what is the next step the next step is to actually run this first of all so let's run this okay so it is giving us an error let me see what that is so i forgot to add one library that is called re right because we are using re again and again so let's also import re and let's see if that errors goes away or not right so let's run this and it is saying that there is that error again let me look into that now now what i have done is i have actually deleted that way and introduced another way to delete the punctuations right so that was a way of deleting punctuations and we added another one right so what uh, we are doing now is cleaning the data now after this all of the data has been cleaned what is the next step the next step is to actually make a x and y data set right so x is equal to np dot array and in this i'm going to write data and tweet right after that i'm going to write y is equal to np dot array and in this i'm going to write data and labels right and what is the next step the next step is to make a vectorizer so actually let's run this first let's put in a few more cells and now let's put in a vectorizer so the vectorizer will be equal to cv is equal to count c o u n t count vectorizer right and after that what i'm going to do is 
I am going to write x is equal to cv dot pit underscore transform on the basis of x right and after that what I am going to do is I am going to perform the split and test training right so if you are familiar with this part then you know then x train and x test after that y train and y test is equal to train underscore test underscore split and in this i'm going to write x comma y comma test underscore size is equal to 0 0.33 and random state is equal to 42 right so let's do that and after that let's make a decision tree classifier so for that model is equal to decision tree classifier right and let's run that and after that uh, let's fit the model so model is equal uh, is equal to uh, you know model dot fit right so model dot fit and here i am going to write x train comma y train right so now that i have done that what is the next step the next step is to make the predictions so for that let's write y predict is equal to model dot predict right and in that i am going to write x test right and let's do that okay it is saying that x test is not available so let's see i have used the word x text so let's go on with that i actually did not look into that that much okay so x text it is wrong but we are using it right so you are going to use x test right so what is the next step the next step is to see how much accurate the prediction have we made right so for that we are going to do is sklearn dot matrix we are going to import accuracy underscore score and after that we are going to print that accuracy score between y predict and y test so accuracy score and in that i am going to write y test comma y predict so let's run this and there we go as you can see it is a very good accuracy score right that we have right here okay so uh, what is the, the next step uh, we can actually uh, predict uh, you know what result of something is going to be for example if i write i is equal to something like uh you know mixture of something right so let me copy this so you are too bad and i don't like your attitude so what can we do here the first thing we can do is we can transform it with the help of the uh, you know count factorizer that we have so cv dot transform and in this i'll have this i right and shift this to array right and after that what i'm going to do is i am going to print out the model dot predict on the basis of this i so there we go it is saying that it has no hate or offensive speech in this right so of course it is not hate it is just saying that i don't like your attitude so as you can see our model is working very perfectly well and you can develop a model such as this by using your own data set as well so for more videos like this keep watching ai sciences